Hey guys, it's Dee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how different ways how and how I cut out stamped images. These are some images that I have stamped and colored myself. You see, I'm not a very, the best colorer. Er, er, er. Okay, I go out of the lines. Whatever. Um, I stamp a whole bunch of things. I do enjoy coloring. So, but I don't enjoy fussy cutting. And I'll show you why. Here's, and this is, I don't like it. Fussy cutting entails you to, let me put my glasses on, have really good eyesight, number one. Number two, you can either go around the edges and just leave like a little tiny bit of a border, which I don't do well. See? See? I screwed that up. That's crap. Which means now I have to go up to the line direct, which I actually prefer. Excuse my nails, but they're horrendous, but whatever. I'm trying to let them grow, which isn't, it's not a successful process for me. Anyway, pray you don't cut the little tail off. I think that would hurt. Okay. So when you're fussy cutting, they say to move the paper, which I do find easier. I'm by no means an expert, obviously. All right, this is what we got. All right, so for these pieces, like this little white piece here, the little tail here, the little piece here, I'm gonna take a marker, any old black marker. This is an illustration marker I got from, out of a five below pack or something. Go from the bottom the bottom and kind of marker it up because I'll show you why if I happen to mess up makes it look a little better I tried it earlier see what happens you, can, you, you will mess up so that's that I don't enjoy this. Some people do enjoy fussy cutting. Some people say it's very relaxing and they sit in front of the TV and they just, they'll stamp out a bunch of stuff, color or not even color and just fussy cut all day long. I don't like it. My eyesight's not good. I wear cheater glasses. My glasses, my actual glasses broke. Regardless, I don't like it. So that's, that's that. But anyway, that's one way to get it fussy cut it. I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do it. I have a Brothers Scan and Cut that I purchased a couple years ago. Just yeah, it's, it's not that old. Um, that the, I used to have a Cricut. I love my Cricut. Loved, loved, loved it. Knew it inside and out, upside down. Could do every trick in the book except scan and cut. I did not. It doesn't do it. So, I gave it to Sarah. And I purchased the Brother Scan and Cut. The reason, the only reason I purchased the Brother Scan and Cut is because it scans your your image and cuts it. I could draw a picture, my own picture, and it would cut it for me. I like that. Cricut may disclaimer disclaimer here. Cricut may do that now. I don't know. I'm not up on Cricut now because I have not been watching or looking for updates on Cricut. But I purchased the Brothers Scan and Cut. My particular model is an SDX85M. It's an older model. It was the cheapest model that I could find to do what I wanted to do. It still works perfectly today. And it does what I wanted to do. So we're going to go over to that machine now and I don't know how I'm going to do this but we're going to hopefully have a steady hand and I'm going to show you how it will scan and cut the same little guy so let's go do that okay I have my two little guys in here I'm a little concerned about here because I've over colored but we'll see how that works out my mat is not very sticky so I have some mint tape on it hopefully that'll work um, the scanning cut mats are known to lose their stick after a while so 
I do do use a mint tape just for security purposes. Um, so we're going to do a direct cut. We're going to hit start. It moves it in. It's now scanning. I'm telling you, this was the best investment I've ever made. It is now scanned. It says it's recognizing. It's very quick. Okay, so it now shows what it scanned. It scanned all this mess here. We don't need that mess. See all this? This is all cuts and stuff and whatnot. We're going to use a brother scan and cut and squish it down as best we can. I can't really see too well to see if I got it all, but I don't want to cut off any of the guys. So we're going to hit preview. Still some junk here we want to get rid of. We're going to hit edit. And I'm going to see this little spot here. It wants to know, do we want to get rid of it? Yes, we want to get rid of that. Do we want to get rid of that spot? Absolutely. Okay. What happened here? I don't know what happened here. Get rid of that spot? Yes. So this takes a while, which I don't like. Might be an easier way to do this. I don't know. Getting rid of all the little crap pieces. That guy we want. He's okay. We still want to edit though, because we have other pieces we want to get rid of, like this little piece here. That doesn't need to be there. We don't want to cut that. We don't want to cut that. We don't want to cut that. That piece, yes, we want. That piece, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, we only have that piece left. Okay. That piece, okay, that's what's going to, that's what's going to cut. We're gonna hit cut. It's processing. Okay, I want to go back for one second because do we want a border? I don't like the borders, so I'm gonna say no. But I'm hoping. I'm gonna say yes. We're gonna give it four tenths of a border because I have this little this ink here and I think it's going to want to try to cut around the ink so we'll see I'm still a novice with this okay please select cut it's processing now it wants to know do we want to do it yes now it moved it in now it's measuring the mat measuring the paper. This thing's a genius. Still measuring my paper. <gasps> it moved my paper. Okay, the thing went all kinds of haywire on me. I had to move it in to the center because like I said, the mats are not that sticky. I had to move it and do with some extra tape on it. And it's recognizing this piece of tape as part of the cut. And it looks like it cut in here too. So we can't use this anyway. So we're going to just try to cut out this guy. So I deselected this guy. And we'll see what happens. I am going to put that border on it again. Just because I have that extra ink. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed. The only problem I have with the scanning cut is that it does not, it does, the sticky mat sucks, to be honest with you. I'm going to be blunt. Blunt and honest. Okay, it's now processing. It says it's cutting, which we just had that problem a second ago. It's now measuring my paper, and we'll pray that 
it stays put. And it's done already. It's that fast. Finish cutting. Let's pull it out. We're done. We're done. Cancel. Be done with it. Done. I don't know what's going on here. Pushing wrong button. Okay, so now I have the super duper glued on here. Glued tape, it's not glued. But look, it took it off. All right, make it a mess, make it a mess, make it a mess. That's what I do, that's what I do. Okay, that can stay there for a second. Let's turn you off. Oh yeah, yeah, you should see the mess I just made. What else is new? Anyway, we got this little guy and he did cut out good with his little little border around him. So you can use that on your project. How cute is he? Alright, next way that I do it is take these guys. Alright. You can take a die cut, any die, whatever die you want, and you can take it over to a die cutting machine. I'm going to put you guys up here. You can take the circle die or an oval die. Oval him. See, you can put him in there. He could be the focus of your project. So let's go do that. And then we can also do a circle if you want it. Let's check that out. Is that too big? Yeah, that'll be cute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's the circle. So you can use him as a focal point. Away before I lose it on my messy desk. And then here is your oval. You could use any shape you choose, whatever you have available. And the oval is right here. So you have several options on which how you choose to cut out. Your die cuts like i said i like to sit here i like to stamp a whole bunch of them and then i'll sit in front of the tv downstairs watch the phillies game go phillies woohoo and color while the game's on and then i could just come up here and usually i do my brother's scanning cut but there are other ways to do it i do not enjoy the fussy cutting method if that's what you like to do, more power to you. Actually, I envy you because it's not. I can't. I don't have. I don't have the discipline. I don't have the. I might have ADHD. Who knows? I don't have the patience for it. I have patience to color, not to cut. So. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for some of you, for those of you new crafters, card makers, or crafters. I hope this helped you out a lot, a little bit. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.